Alright guys and girls, um, welcome to another tutorial from Tractor Tips. Uh, in this tutorial I just want to show you the differences in how you can import TSI files into Tractor. I've noticed uh, in the last few weeks there's been a few people that are um, struggling with the settings and uh, they're having all sorts of issues with making things work. So I just wanted to introduce you to how that you can import and export various files. So if we're into the preferences here, we'll go into Controller Manager, and from here there are two ways you can save the settings. Um, first of all, the export button at the bottom here. Um, this is an option to export a number of different settings all at once, and you can select how many settings you want to export. You can check them all and everything will be saved. Um, or you can just select certain ones, so either the keyboard mappings you can take out. It depends on what you want to save. Go ahead and select whichever ones you want, or you feel appropriate. Click OK, and then it'll ask you to save it. So we can call it uh, Overall uh, Settings. Um, and we can just export that to wherever we want. And then that's saved the entire settings as we are. So you know if anything goes wrong we can bring that back in. And the way we would bring that back in is to click the import button down here. This then brings in, um, we can then choose what we want to go to and I will load in overall settings TSI, click open. It should have automatically checked the ones that you had checked when you saved it, but there is an option of unchecking some of these. Say there's something you don't want to change on the re-import of this setting, so you can uncheck that. But we'll just leave it as is and we'll go ahead and import. And so we'll go ahead and uh, import that. So now that's uh, imported, uh, nothing's changed. Uh, we've basically brought back the same settings. So that is how to save the overall and much larger uh, set of uh, preferences. If, however, you want to um, just save one particular controller setting, um, or import one particular controller setting, the best way to do that is to, is to do it up here in the device setup. So you have a bunch of different, you may have more than this in here, but uh, as standard we've got the keyboard and X1 that I have loaded in. From here you can choose the edit button and you can export from here. Now this will just export the one device that we are uh, operating with here. So we can call this whatever. This is actually the keyboard, so I will call it keyboard um, uh, mapping. And uh, we're good to go here. And uh, we just save that. It doesn't ask us any more options because it's just that one TSI for that one particular controller. Same is true when you want to import. So we can add from here. Say you want to import something that's already in the uh, preferences um, the defaults of Tractor when you download it. There's a whole bunch of different uh, controllers you can import. Or say for instance you've downloaded something from the internet a TSI file, you can click import here and uh, this is where you can then select it. So I'm going to load in the iPad one that we've made here, open this and then you'll see uh, that we now have an iPad one to select. Once you have loaded this in, it's important that you select the in uh, port and out port to match. Now I know for the iPad it is just session one here, depending on what you're using to to control the iPad. Um, but yeah, just make sure those imports and outputs are changed uh, to the relevant the relevant settings. So the last thing I want to show you is how to delete one of these. So we've loaded in the iPad and we don't want it anymore so we'll select it and then we'll go to edit and then we can just delete that particular one it's going to ask if you're sure we'll say yep yeah, of course we're sure and then in panic uh, it says none but that's not true they're all right here and that's pretty much it so um, yeah basically if you're setting overall settings you want the import and export here if you're just using single TSI files for a particular controller then you want to use these settings here so hopefully that's helped you and uh, you should now be able to save your settings and import new ones that you download or create. Thanks for watching.